Hello, I'm Nicola from Nicola Jane Cupcake Bouquets and I thought I would just come on and say hello and tell you how I got started making buttercream flowers and cupcake bouquets. Like so many people, my cake decorating and baking started off as a hobby. When I was a little girl, I used to bake with my mum. I had a stool in the kitchen that I used to stand on so I could reach the worktop and we'd make scones and we'd have them straight out of the oven with loads of butter on them and we'd make cakes together. And my mum makes phenomenally good cakes. It's totally her fault that I got into baking cakes. I wanted to be just like her and of course my favourite part of that was being allowed to lick the bowl. So while the cakes were in the oven, I was allowed to eat the cake batter that was left in the bowl, um, which was especially good if it was chocolate. So that's my favourite. About 15, 20 years ago, um, I made large cakes carved into different shapes, like shoes and handbags. And I'd make all sorts of fiddly little fondant accessories to go with them and I'd paint on them and I really loved it. Um, it was hours and hours of work and hours and hours of cleaning up because I am an extremely messy person. So I'd use every bowl, every spatula, every knife, you name it, I used it. So <laughs> cleaning up took longer than making the cake. Um, I never did that professionally. I did it for friends and family and I got orders from their friends and family. Um, but I never set myself up as a business doing that. It took so long and I never knew what to charge. And it was always quite stressful with the cleaning up and boxing it and getting it to people. So I don't miss it, but a massive change in my life that I made um, meant I had to downsize kitchen in a big way and I didn't have any room for any of my stuff. So I sold all of my cake tins and all of my decorating equipment. The only things that I kept were my Yorkshire pudding tin and a box of piping tips and I'd never used them before I didn't know what any of them were I just wanted to keep them for some reason and a stand mixer that was a Christmas present and I couldn't bring myself to part with that but it lived in a cupboard for about three and a half four years doing absolutely nothing in 2020 in between all the lockdowns for COVID um, we needed some cakes at work for a lady who was leaving. We weren't allowed to organise any parties or anything like that, but I offered to make some cupcakes. Um, we could all keep a distance from each other and we could all have a cake. So it made sense to do that. And uh, the only thing I'd ever piped before on a cupcake was a simple hydrangea and a swirl rose. So I kind of had an idea and I googled images for some inspiration on what to do and I saw a picture of a cupcake bouquet and I really wanted to make one. I had no idea how um, and I had two days to figure it out, bake the cakes and get it done. Uh, so I pinched some cups out of the canteen. I didn't know that that's how they were made. It just made sense to me. I saw them out the corner of my eye when I was making a cuppa. And, um, you know, I pinched, I pinched some and some sellotape. And there was a lot of sellotape involved in that first bouquet. <laughs> I was making it up as I went along. And I bought some tissue paper from the factory shop. So it wasn't food safe. And I think I bought a plastic bowl as well. I didn't trust the structure of my bouquet with the sellotape and I put it into a plastic bowl and I wrapped the tissue paper around the bowl to cover it up 
and I poked bits of green in between all the cakes to make leaves. When I look at it now, it was quite awful, but at the time, it went down so well. Everybody loved it. And from that day on, every week, I've had people asking me to make more. So I set up Nicola Jane cupcake bouquets in my teeny tiny little kitchen here with nothing but a stand mixer and one spatula. I didn't have anything else. So I started from scratch. I had one roll of cellophane that I'd had from other creative projects that I was doing, but that's it. So I went onto YouTube and I found a couple of really helpful tutorials and I ended up buying a couple as well so I could learn how to make them properly without them falling apart and to make them look professional. And I registered with the council and I had the health inspector come and look at my little kitchen, got a five star rating and off I went. I've made them every day since. I can't tell you the value of having something creative to be mindful about. It helps you to focus, it helps you to relax, it helps you to be calm, it helps you to forget everything. Piping these flowers has actually got me through one of the hardest emotional challenges that I've faced in life so far. It's been, it's been a therapy really. To, be, to have something creative to really, really focus on, um, to lose yourself in and forget the world around you and forget your stresses and your upsets, it's, it's mindful and it's incredibly helpful. And you, you're in a world of colourful buttercream flowers. Of course it cheers you up. So it didn't take very long for me to sort of realise that I could figure out what piping tip I wanted to use for what shape petal I wanted to make. Um, and I absolutely love playing around and experimenting. I think when you're let loose on something, you can discover so many things. Um, you're kind of free to play. So... I switched off from the internet completely and just did things my way. I made a batch of buttercream and I bought some dummy cupcakes um, that were like four pounds something for a bag of 12. They've got an irritating little hole in the top of them, but just, I just filled that in. And yeah, I just started practicing and, and looking at flowers. I started taking pictures of flowers in the supermarkets. People must think I'm a, a bit of a nutter, but it's what I do. It's my inspiration, and I love looking at them and dissecting them and figuring out how to make the petals. So that's what I've done. I started to do little workshops in my local area, and I got such wonderful feedback from the people who came, and they all loved it, and... Quite a few of them have come back for another workshop and now I get messages every week asking when the next one's going to be and I've had messages from people around the world asking if I'm going to do online courses and would I do online lessons and could I do it over Zoom and things like that. So I've put together some online courses. I've learned how to film, how to edit, how to put them onto a website, how to make a membership. I've literally done everything from scratch. It's been the most amazing year of learning. I was made redundant from my office job Christmas 2022 and I've spent the year building up these online courses and making cakes. It's been fantastic. I wanted to 
put them out into the world in a way that was really easy for people to access them and really cost effective. It's like one very small monthly payment and you have access to the whole library of flowers and I add to it every two weeks so there's always something new to learn. That might be a new flower, it might be a new succulent, it might be a new wrapping course. I'm trying to cover everything. I have a list of over a hundred tutorials that I'm adding to the courses so it is just gonna grow and grow. It's gonna be a massive garden. If you sign up to the courses you get 24-7 access to all of them. You can play them as many times as you like. You can send any questions you want to send over and I'll always get back to you. And the more you pipe, the more you practice these flowers and mixing up your colours, you'll have your favourite ones to do and you'll have ones that take you a bit longer, but you'll develop your own style and you'll have a unique way of doing it. And you'll change things, you'll do things your own way. The more you do, the better you get, the more confident you become and the more fun you have. That's the thing, it is meant to be fun. It's meant to be enjoyable. I don't like competition in any way, shape or form. Life is meant to be nice. It's meant to be fun. You're meant to find who you are and go your way and love what you do. So that's it. That's how I got started. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm loving the journey. <laughs>